Motion capture for the masses has arrived thanks to iPiSoft's desktop markerless motion capture system. With a price under $1,000, it's cheap enough for even individual animators to afford. While iPi has other choices for motion sensing, they recently introduced the ability to use two Microsoft Connects, and that is what we used for this review. Pictured are the two Connects and two lengthy active USB cables. You'll need about an 8 to 10 foot square space to work in. After setting up, you'll need to calibrate the sensors. For this, you need a large plane, such as a piece of wood or stiff cardboard. The calibration is done by tilting the plane left and right. You don't need to worry about lighting since the sensors use infrared to determine the depth, which is represented by bright colors in the video. After recording the calibration video, you open it up in iPi Studio, which interprets the pixel's X, Y, and Z depth information. You trim the frames to define the range of the action. Then press the calibration button, at which point iPiSoft takes over and using the corners of the plane, solves for the position of the connects. When it's done, you save the calibration data as an XML file, which iPi will use for the motion capture. After the calibration, you're ready for some action. After assuming a T-pose, I did this little dance routine. Note that top hat and tails are not required. iPi Desktop Motion Capture contains a rigged human model in a T-pose. After bringing your depth video into the program, you line up the model with the pixels from your video using the Move and Scale tools, hit Refit Pose, trim the frame range to the action you want, and hit the Track button. iPi Soft will then analyze each frame captured by the motion sensors and track the 3D character accordingly. This is what actually creates the motion capture data. After tracking, you can watch a preview of the motion capture using the built-in character. I was impressed. It did a really good job. If you like, you can import a target character or avatar right inside of iPiSoft and apply the mocap to it right there as shown here with the DAE character I downloaded from the internet. I then exported the mocap data as a BVH file from iPiSoft and imported it into Maxon Cinema 4D without a problem. Immediately a rig was there in the viewport with its complete hierarchy of joints viewable in the project window. Upon pressing play, the rig performed flawlessly. Finally, I bound a simple character I modeled in Cinema 4D to the rig and quickly weighted the vertices at the joints and rendered it out with Cinema 4D's new physical renderer, which gave it a nice touch of motion blur. iPiSoft's Markless Motion Capture System was fun to use. Not only did it do what it claimed to do, but it did it well without a lot of fuss.